Hi, I'm Kim of KimSneet.com and the founder of Space for Grace, and I help busy women systematically declutter and get organized, freeing up hours in their week so they can get back to doing what they love most. So if that sounds like you, stick around. I'm going to help you out with all of that in five minutes or less. So this is exactly what I do with my clients, whether they're local and residential and I'm going into their home, or whether they're virtual. So. First of all, I start, it's two parts. I start with the mental, emotional, and then we get to the physical. And the reason I'm standing in front of my closet is because it does have to do with your clothes. So if you have a lot of clothes, this is going to help you. And I don't see anyone else doing it this way. All right, so first of all, the mental, emotional. What do I mean by that? Well, when anybody calls me, I ask them why. Why are you calling a professional organizer, a clutter coach, and why now? Why is it so important? Without that, you will fail and things will get worse. So having a clear-cut why that's more than just, I wanna light a match to it all, I wanna get rid of it all, or I want it to all just be organized and I want this all to go away, is not going to get you through. But something like this, for example, well, I can see my life is passing me by and work is taking over. And in fact, it's taken over my physical space where I used to have art. I used to, in my spare time, paint or do yoga. And I have no space for it anymore. And really, I don't have the desire or any energy for it anymore. I want to get back to that and I want to do that within three months or less. That is a clear why that's going to get you through the hardest decisions in getting rid of your clutter. So have a clear cut why that's personalized to you that gets you excited and motivated to see this through. All right, so start with your why. Next is a physical, how do I physically make decisions and specifically with my clothes? So that is my yes, no, maybe game and I'm gonna teach it to you right now. It's quick, easy and fun. So. Clutter is unmade decisions, and this goes for all of the stuff you have. Um, specifically with your clothes, we've been, this is the easiest one to start with because we've been getting rid of our clothes since we were little, because we can't possibly be wearing the same things since we were 10. Styles change, our weight changes, our um, lifestyle changes. So um, you wanna have everything in your closet fit you, you love it, it's a 10, you feel great wearing it, it looks wonderful on you, and you get compliments on it. Wouldn't that be awesome? Makes it easier for you to get out the door on time and get ready for your day. So, um, first of all, what is yes, no, maybe? Well, everything that we have, and you probably have a lot more than you need, is either gonna fall under, yes, I love it, I want it, Maybe I'm not sure I'm keeping it just in case or I feel guilty because I spent money on it I haven't worn it yet um, Or my weights changed uh, Or no, I can't believe I still hang on to this. So no, it's a clear no So you're going to take each hanger out and we're only going to start with what's hanging in your closet You can do the same process with uh, what's in your drawers if you have dresser drawers and you're gonna pull each one down, looking at each piece individually and asking yourself, is this a yes, is this a no, or is this a maybe? A yes, you're gonna tell right away. You're excited about it, you still love it, you wanna wear it, and um, it looks good on you. So put that right back in your closet. The next one, pull the next piece and keep going until you find a maybe. A maybe you're gonna throw on your bed. You're not gonna spend any more time with it. How you're gonna know it's a maybe is because you're going to have some sort of feeling or story. You're gonna feel, and it's weighted or heavy, or uh, there's a decision that hasn't been made on it. I don't want you to spend any more time on that than just throw it on your bed, okay? The nose, I want you to have a clear plastic bag and a couple of them ready to go. And you're gonna put the clear cut nose straight into the bag for donation. Now I don't want you to put anything in there that's ripped, torn, stained. Put that right into a garbage bag. We don't wanna give that to the donation centers. We want them to be able to use these. All right, so that is yes, no, maybe. Yes is stay in your closet, hanging. Nos go in the bag for donation and maybes go straight on the bed. When you're done all of that, you're gonna have a lot less here. You're gonna know what you have. You're gonna have pants, tops, and skirts, and dresses that you love. They're a 10. You wanna wear them. They fit you now. You're gonna have a bunch that you thought you needed but you don't that are no's. Now's time for you to go to your maybes. 
look at them, try them on, look at them in, in a mirror, do they fit, do they pull, are they uncomfortable, are they itchy, is that why they're a maybe? Can you now make them a no? And what's left is still a little bit of maybes, and now you're gonna take them for a test run. You're gonna hang them back up in your closet and you're gonna wear them over the next week. And if you can't get through the rest of the day wearing those maybes, then those are likely a no and they are meant to go for donation. All right, so that's the yes, no, maybe game. It should take in under an hour for you to just go through the yeses, the nos, and the maybes. And then the it should take you a total of three hours to go through all your clothes in all the areas that you have them in. So let me know how that worked out for you. Send me a message, send me a note, reach out to me. And if you want any more help on this, then reach out, I can do so. Good luck.